Hello healers! Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. This is a different video for you. It is a book review in case you are trying to learn the tarot or if you just want to get to know some of your new tarot decks and you're, you don't know how and you have any idea of what you can do something different. Okay, this is a lovely book. This is the tarot playbook from Linda House and uh, she really has a fun way of explaining and giving you 78 uh, you know different ways to connect with your cards okay and they are all related to each of the cards okay of the tarot and they have many many fun different um, you know games and uh, really interesting things here we go through the book here with you and this is really a book that uh, i got it and i was using a bit before doing this review okay just to make sure it was really interesting or fun and it really is okay i do recommend this book i'll put all the details below if you want to have it for yourself and uh, it's not really expensive so if you are new to tarot or if you just have many decks and uh, you just don't know how to connect with all of them because sometimes it's not always easy to connect with the deck and just understand this is a really fun book okay it is 176 pages okay in this book and i'll go through some of the details it is colorful it is funny and uh, very practical and very easy okay guys to use and uh, there's some acknowledgement here introduction and uh, the way she uses okay the language here it's really fun and she will treat the the decks and the cards like they have feelings okay they are people real people like your real friends and it's really funny okay the way and i'm gonna go through at least uh, one of them here to read for you okay the details and you will see just the kind of language that she uses and how fun it is okay like she has many questions for you to ask the deck and it, okay they are like um, first impressions and how there are ways for you to like um, do things that she will give ideas let's say for example she'll get one card i'll just take one card here like whatever card comes here for me okay she will ask you to take one card for example and then put the uh, around the white paper and then start drawing around it around this card okay for example here i will continue drawing around the back the background okay what's happening who else is around is someone else is she throwing this to someone or something like that okay so for you to to keep drawing and learning more about what else is happening around the this card around this situation okay which is a very interesting way this is one example okay guys i will read another one she has uh, like funny things like <laughs> to to do with the deck like uh, taking for a walk like uh, it's your friend okay and she says things like um, when you go out with your friends you don't um, take notes you don't open pen and paper and take notes of everything that's happening so she's saying you don't really need to take notes in this case here don't bother not with this book at least um, to take notes and uh, be writing down everything that happens because she just wants you to have fun and uh, interact and have fun you know in that moment and you can see here guys loads of uh, colorful beautiful pictures sorry that was my dog and um colorful black and white there are loads of pictures here okay guys and really nice okay guys i will go through one of them okay and just to give you an idea of the kind of things and she says that you can read the, like um in order okay of it, the way it comes here or you can just open and decide to do one that you may find it fun and you just decide to do one of the exercises okay there's no need to like get stuck and do it like one by one the way it's showing here but you can just choose whatever you want okay i will just read the uh, a random here for you something that i uh, you know Maybe it will be fun. Okay. I'll read about the justice card here, okay, for you. Just so you have an idea. Life for a tarot deck can be all work, work, work. Throwing a party gives your deck a chance to run wild. To let its hair down, feast on some nibbles and engage in some small talk. All of which is essential for its emotional and psychological well-being. Watch the alcohol though. No one wants a reading from a pickle deck. Go through your deck and pick out any cards which feature people 
or dragons or ferret, depending on the theme of the deck. These are your party goers. Put the rest of the deck to one side. Spread your party goers face down on a table and swirl them around so they mingle. You might like to put on some music now, an 80s mixtape perhaps, or whatever you think your decks might like. Choose a group of three or four cards that are touching and turn them face up. These are the first guests to arrive at your party. See what impressions your party goers make. Did the card's occupants arrive alone or with party goers from another card? What kind of entrance did they make? Are they happy to be there or would they rather be somewhere else? How well do they get on with the other party goers? What's their behavior like? Keep turning cards face up to add more guests until either the party fuzzles out or the police are called to break things up. You can see here, guys, how like she uses like a funny language and a fun way to, you know, mix your cards, you know, choose just uh, the cards that have people or whatever you, you have there in your hand, mix them and start facing them up like they are just arriving in the party and see, you know, if it's a happy card, are they happy to be there? If it's a card that features more than one, a uh, person, maybe, you know, there are different people arriving together or just having that uh, different way of, you know, looking at the cards and connecting with them. I feel like, you know, it's just fun. And just maybe to see another one here, just again, guys, so quick flip through here. You can see like how the pictures are nice, okay? And there are so many lovely ideas here, fun things to do. Let me see if I find one that... Uh, it's not too long, so I read for you, okay? Okay, remember, remember, eight of wands. Feed the cat, wash the car, take grandma to have her hair done, order a new iron. Feed the grandma, take the cat to have her hair done, wash the iron, order a new car. Take the iron to grandma's, feed the car, order a new cat. Do you have a trouble keeping track of this? If so, this should almost certainly confuse you further. Make a list of everything you need to do today. Shuffle the minor arcana. Try to remember where you put the list you just made. Select one card from your deck for each to-do item of your list. The card should contain some visual clue related to what you have to do so it will help you remember. For example, that may be a good card to remember you to mow the lawn, but only if you own a large Scythe. Once you have chosen a card for each task, tear up your list and throw it away, or better yet, recycle it. You should have no need for such a lowly mnemonic device now that you have tarot cards. Keep your cards of remembering in your bag or pocket and carry them around with you all day. Remember to check them to see what it is you are supposed to be doing. Remember to return them to your tarot deck when you finish with them. And remember to put grandma out before you go to bed. You can see guys how she gives you ideas, you know, just in this case to do a, a to-do list, if you have something to do and swap them to the cards and see if you remember. And you know, just have fun really with uh, the deck. So there are loads of ways, okay? Of course you don't need to do this for every single deck, that, but maybe that deck that you can connect or maybe that deck that you really love and you want to know everything about it and you want to spend the time with the deck and you have no idea what else you can do okay maybe you're just journaling and uh, you're just you know writing down things but you don't know what you write as well and this really gives some good fun ideas okay of things to do so guys i really recommend this book you can see the beautiful pictures the lovely you know ideas and they're fun you can see how, how she she writes really in a fun tone and i like that okay and really is something that you can do i did few of them already and i definitely had fun and i recommend this book okay again guys the details will be below i hope you like it like i said if you are a beginner if you're trying to learn or if you just uh, like to collect cards and have many there's always one that uh, maybe you really want to spend time and get to know or maybe there's one that is a little bit difficult to get to know i feel like this book can really help okay and I hope it helps you out in some way. I hope you like this kind of video. And if you do, let me know. Leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. 
And like always, I hope you have a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching.